I'm beginning a new series of messages this fall called Christianity 101. This video is my attempt to help you as an individual or as a group leader uh, to, uh, to get into this study and, 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 and follow along with me. Uh, this is meant to be used uh, with our church journals, uh, where in your group uh, you might go through the, the journal together. Uh, this is just kind of augmented, some questions, some things to think about. Um, if you can get people in your group to actually spend time in the Bible during the week, like that's why we do the journal, uh, you're doing a person a great favor. Greatest way uh, people grow in their faith study after study shows is spending time reflecting in the Bible. So if you can get people to do that and come prepared to your group meeting, having kind of maybe gone through the journal, I think uh, you're doing uh, them a great service. So imagine you're on a plane and uh, about five minutes before landing, you've been uh, reading your Bible and the person in the seat next to you says, kind of sees what you're doing and they say, what do Christians believe? I mean, this is just five minutes before you land. You realize you have very little time, what would you say? If you had to summarize real quickly, what does the Christian faith uh, mean? Uh, what would you say to the person? So let's, let's uh, turn to uh, people in our group and share your answer. Uh, don't one of you do the whole thing, like give a five minute presentation, maybe just say one thing for sure I would share would be this, and then somebody else can add in and add in and kind of together as a group, you can kind of put together, what do you think are the main things to say? The fact that I'm doing Christianity 101 might be a disappointment for you. You say, well, I've been a Christian a while. I don't need basics. Uh, but this isn't just any uh, 101 course. This is taught by the Apostle Paul. And we're going to be looking at his seminal work, the book of Romans. Uh, Romans is written for a number of reasons, but uh, uh, Jesus came first to, for the Jews and shared with them the faith and after uh, he rose from the dead, uh, thousands of Jews gave their lives to Christ in Jerusalem and around Jerusalem. And then God tapped the apostle Paul to take the good news to the Gentiles. And as Paul did that, there kind of developed some conflict between Jewish Christians, in other words, they were Jews who had become Christians, and Gentile Christians. The Jewish Christians felt like in order to be a Christian, you had to keep the Old Testament law. You had to be circumcised, you had to keep their food laws, the, uh, the, uh, all those things. And, uh, and so they judged the Apostle Paul and Gentile Christians for not being really full Christians. On the other hand, Gentile Christians said, no, uh, we don't have to keep the law. Uh, this is a new way. We come to Christ by faith, not by keeping the law, doing works. And so they... In, in many ways looked down on Jewish Christians as being weaker because they still felt like they had to keep the law and, they, and the Gentiles felt like they were liberated Christians. Well, Apostle Paul wrote his book of Romans to show all people, Jews and Gentiles, that the way to God is through faith in Christ and that the gospel is the great leveler. Uh, it shows that all of us have sinned against God we're all in this together, and the only way to God is through faith. We can't get there by doing good works, by keeping the law. None of us can keep it. And so that's really uh, why he, he wrote the book. And he showed that this was really the way it was all the way back to Abraham. Abraham came, uh, was, was called a, a man of, of great faith, and, uh, uh, but he didn't get to God by good works. It was by his faith, believing God and leaving his home in Haran and, and going to uh, the land of Canaan and settling there. That became uh, the land of Israel and uh, uh, believing that God would give him a, a son, gave him Isaac, and he'd be the father of uh, many people. Uh, it, it was by faith way back in the Old Testament. So Paul is showing that uh, this is uh, what the gospel is, that we come to Christ by faith. So the great summary verses of uh, Romans are Romans 1, 16 to 17. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, Apostle Paul says, for it is the power of God for the salvation for all who believe, first to the Jew, then to the Gentile. For in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed, 
a righteousness that is by faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. That's a quote from Habakkuk, uh, the prophet who uh, is complaining, oh, why did God use the wicked Babylonians to punish uh, the people of Judah? Uh, how could God do that? And, uh, and God says, don't worry, I'm going to take the people back uh, to Jerusalem, back to Judea. The just will live by faith. Just keep believing in me. Uh, so I hope uh, th these few comments help you. Uh, have a good discussion with your group and uh, maybe go through the journals. I uh, hope this is a great study for you today.